Herb, I'm hoping you can take a little stroll down memory lane with me here. So in January of 1987, I'm in Toronto. I grew up playing hockey, and we went down to Providence, Rhode Island for a hockey tournament, and the people we stayed with took me to go watch Providence College play a game. So a couple months later, you know, I fell in love with the campus there. A couple months later, I turn on the TV. I see Providence College in the NCAA tournament. So you're obviously a part of that staff, and that's kind of where I my first fell in love with college basketball was following that team who I fell I had a connection with. Just take me back to you know that that run to the Final Four in '87. Any you know favorite memories? A particular story you, you can share from that time? Well, I tell you what, you, you could literally write a book on that season because I, I really believe it's um, one of the best stories ever in college basketball. What Coach Patino did with the Providence program and that particular team during the 87 season was nothing short of remarkable. Only his second season at Providence, he engineered uh, as dramatic a turnaround, as fast a turnaround as I can ever remember in college basketball. And it was certainly um, punctuated by the fact that Coach Patino and his wife, Joanne, lost their son as the team drove home from New York after the Big East tournament. And so Coach carried that tremendous sorrow uh, into the NCAA tournament where I think we were a sixth seed and we opened up on the road at UAD, literally playing on their home court. And then it took uh, a miraculous comeback against Austin P, who had upset Illinois in the first round to advance to the Sweet 16, where we dismantled an extremely talented Alabama team. Then as fate would have it, we faced Georgetown in the Elite Eight. And Georgetown was the same team that had blown us out a few weeks earlier in the Big East tournament. And this time uh, the tables turned and, and we had a runaway victory and found ourselves headed to New Orleans.